I initially reached out to Corey after competing in the Steamtown Marathon a little over a year ago. I remember running that race with the goal of hoping to qualify for the Boston Marathon and it was around mile 20 that I had hit that wall, uh, that notorious wall, and I realized that I was less prepared than I thought I was. I liked the idea of working with Corey specifically because I felt like his coaching was very, very dynamic. And what I mean by that is that he was someone who could make adjustments to my workouts depending on whether or not I was on a busy week at work, if I was dealing with an injury, or if I felt really good and felt like I could push myself further. The other thing I have to say about Corey's coaching is I thought the pricing was really reasonable in that you got a whole lot more with Corey's coaching for a lot less compared to some of the other coaches that I looked into. Corey's coaching thus far has been everything I hoped it would be. He uses a platform that is incredibly user-friendly and basically for all of my runs and generally within 24 hours, he'll comment on, on the run in some capacity. And so we're constantly collecting data that allows him to modify my training calendar. The other thing that I'll say is he has gone above and beyond and always met me halfway in terms of my training program. As a physician, I need to have some inherent flexibility with my training and he definitely makes accommodations to allow for that. This past October, I got to compete in the Chicago Marathon and I remember having a meeting with Corey a few days before the race, which is something that he will routinely do before all of our races. And we were talking a little bit about race strategy. He had told me that he wanted me to go out at a 640 pace if I was gonna try to qualify for Boston. And I remember when I heard that, that I thought he was absolutely crazy, that that was way too fast. There was no way that I'd be able to maintain that. And it was around mile 16 when I had raced the marathon exactly as he had said that I felt like I had plenty left in the tank and those last couple of miles I just kept getting faster and faster. So it was clear uh, for that race that he knew my level of fitness much better than I knew my own. And uh, based on his coaching uh, and the experiences that I've had, I clocked a time that was over 10 minutes below my Boston qualifying standard. So I finally have my bib to race in the Boston Marathon in 2021.